In this video, I'm going to discuss a multi-center RCT investigating the clinical effectiveness of self-managed single exercise program versus usual care for rotator cuff tendinopathy. Hi and welcome back to Physio Tutors. In 2015, Littlewood et al. investigated whether it would make a difference if patients received just one exercise to self-manage or received usual care. To this day, it is unclear if multiple exercises are superior to a single one. A single exercise could be more pragmatic, time-saving and a cheaper option compared to usual care. This study included 86 patients with a primary complaint of shoulder pain for more than three months with no or minimal resting pain. Yet, provoked by resisted lateral rotation or abduction. The primary outcome measure was the SPADI questionnaire for pain and function measured at baseline, three, six, and 12 months. The patients in the intervention group were instructed to exercise twice daily for three sets of 10 to 15 repetitions. The single exercise was determined so pain was reproduced, although not increased after cessation. Typically, the program started out with isometric abduction, progressed to isotonic abduction. If symptoms worsened after exercise, other movements like lateral rotation or flexion were explored. Usual care consisted of physiotherapeutic treatment of exercise, education, advice, stretching, massage, acupuncture, electrotherapy, strapping, manual therapy and or corticosteroid injections at the discretion of the physiotherapist. A total of 31 experienced clinicians trained by the lead author took part in this study. So what are the findings? There were no differences between groups across all outcome measures. What are your thoughts on this? Do you think the study is reflective of clinical practice? Let us know in the comments down below. I'm feeling lost in shoulder rehab? Check out our course from Professor Philip Struijf. The link is in the video description. Thanks a lot for watching. I will see you in another video. Goodbye.